There was a couple months period where I was probably throwing up five days a week, just uncontrollably. Jaclyn Hill revealed she self-medicated with alcohol after her lipstick scandal took over the internet. But before we give you all the details, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any updates. Okay, so Jacqueline just opened up about the aftermath of the scandal in a new video. She addressed her four-month YouTube hiatus and opened up candidly about her battle with anxiety and depression. She specifically noted that the intense negative comments she was receiving from viewers were very triggering for her. She explained that she does not use the word depression lightly and said, quote, If we're being totally transparent and honest with one another, yeah, filming gives me major anxiety now because I know that every single thing I do, people are literally going to go with a fine tooth comb and microscope and pick apart everything. She went on to reflect how she handled the failed launch of her lipsticks and explained that she acted from a state of panic and she knows she messed up. All in all, she described 2019 as such a messy year. Jacqueline then became very vulnerable and opened up about how to cope she turned to alcohol. At the end of the day, to cope with my anxiety and my depression, I turned to alcohol and started drinking to fix what I was feeling mentally. She explained that historically she's not a heavy drinker, but after dealing with anxiety so intense she found herself throwing up multiple times a week, she developed a habit of drinking to numb it. Fans have been accusing her of using excess fillers, etc., and Jacqueline explained that the drinking is what led to a change of appearance in her face. And that is why my face has been so swollen. That's why you saw it throughout the year get bigger and bigger and bigger. That's why it is where it is now. On days where I would be so full of anxiety and I would drink more than other days, I would wake up in the morning and my face would be so swollen and my eyes would be so puffy and I would just cry. After detailing her struggle with alcohol, Jacqueline revealed that she has been seeking treatment to get back on track. She explained she's trying different types of therapies and also enlisted the help of a doctor to get back to a healthier lifestyle. Jacqueline then encouraged her followers to spread some kindness whenever they can. She said, quote, those of you out there that have good thoughts, who see a picture and watch a YouTube video and think something positive, comment. Comment on anyone's video or picture or tweet that you like. Any positivity that you can bring into the world is so necessary. If you have anything nice to say, say it. On that note, that's all the news I have to share with you guys. Were you impressed with Jacqueline's vulnerable video? Let us know down in the comments. And before you go, be sure to subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, and then click right over here for another new video. As always, I'm your host, Fiona Zaring. You can follow me on socials at Fiona Zaring, and I'll see you guys next time.